terrible. It has no bite. Hmm. What do you think? It's vile. God, man. Are you trying to go blind? Oh, my. That is quite toxic, isn't it? Oh, yes. I hate this. It is revolting. What? Please. And greetings everybody, and welcome to another Jester Reviews. Now today, I'm going to bring you the Summer Event Ship uh, for 2023, uh, which you can acquire on Riser, but you'll have to be quick, because we're nearly ending the uh, uh, Summer Event. It's nearly coming to an end. And this is the Hyperion Battle Cruiser T6X, which uh, actually featured on uh, below decks um, now I, I I have to be honest um, yeah it's not my cup of tea um, yeah yeah I get it um, I do get it or do I get it I don't actually get it no I don't get it I don't, <laughs> I don't actually get it no I'm yeah what can I say um, I have I have tested this ship out and I have flown it and I do like the way it, it responds, um, but yeah I I don't think I'll be flying this as a permanent feature of my fleet. Although it is great fun to fly, yes it just doesn't it just doesn't fit in my idea of of um, yeah Star Trek. Um, Yes, I'm. I'm sorry for all fans of Below Decks. You know, if uh, um, if I've offended you, I don't mean to. It's it's just not my cup of tea. But anyhow, um, let's uh, take a look at the stats, shall we? So, when you take possession of the Hyperion Battle Cruiser, you can expect a hull modifier of one point. Uh, 379. She has a shield modifier of 1.37 and she has five weapons to the front and three weapons to the rear with three device slots. Her bridge officer stations are as follows. You get a Lieutenant Commander Tactical, a Commander Engineering, a Lieutenant Stroke uh, sorry, a Lieutenant Science Stroke Pilot Station, an Ensign Science Station and a Lieutenant Universal Stroke Intel Station. Her consoles consist of four tactical, five engineering and two science and she has a base turn rate of 9.73 with an impulse modifier of 0.17. She has an inertia rating of 39 and she has a plus 10 to weapons power and a plus 10 to engines power and you can equip dual heavy cannons on this ship. Now she has a cloaking device which translates into the spell of invisibility. Uh, she has cruiser commander rays and uh, yeah nimble jig uh, area of protection a tireless march of striking and that translates into weapon system efficiency shield frequency modulation and static maneuvering she also has active sensor arrays uh, but yes which translate into scryer orb uh, Ponder the orb, expose vulnerability armor, expose vulnerability disarm, expose vulnerability vitals. A console is Dragon Blood Flame Reactor. And we will go into that uh, shortly. And for all of you who collect Admiralty stats, you can pick up 52 Engineering, 37 Science, and 37 Tactical. Now, when you pick up this ship, um, it comes with these beam arrays which is ray of disintegration and this is a standard issue um, it's yeah yeah it's it's just a basic disruptor to be honest with you um, yeah I, I immediately changed it um, for phasers and uh, standard disruptors but um, you can actually once you actually pick this ship up it does allow you to um, now these are the standard um issue uh rays of disintegration beam arrays and um you can't upgrade them but if you go into the dilithium store here oops 
is is oh let's get rid of that um reclaim and scroll down there you go you can actually uh, pick them up and you can upgrade these as well so there you go so my build consists of four weapons to the front uh, which uh, consist of f three of them are phaser dual beam banks uh, with one of them being the phaser wide angle dual heavy beam bank from the um, discovery reputations tab and that's part of a three piece set which I'm using the dark matter quantum torpedo and down here we're using the tactical locus custom fire controls now the deflector impulse warp core are the uh, standard ones which I've picked up from the uh, discovery reputations tab and on this character I'm trying to actually acquire the Tilly shield but I've not yet got there so in this case I've got a regenerative 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 <laughs> regenerative I can't say it I'm gonna have to put my teeth in regenerative shield array uh, it's not the best one uh, really but um, it's it's all well, I've got for this actually for this character but by the way there you go uh, in the rear I'm using a standard omni directional phaser beam and just two standard phaser beam arrays um, there we go so the um, console universal dragon's blood flame reactor um, I have to say it looks good it looks good um, yeah and if I improve my control abilities probably be better to get everybody in one place and then zap them with this so uh, yeah that's something I will work on for my control abilities um, so you get a plus 20% bonus disruptor fire called electrical radiation and sight what's that Psy Psy psionic damage psionic damage dm8 uh, plus 10 current and five maximum engine power breath of the dragon conical fire damage each second 6396.8 fire damage each second for 10 seconds uh, up to five foes within a 50 degree five kilometer cone and the damage scales with engine power uh, whoops where's that gone there we go applies a stacking three engine power drain per second but does not cancel at low engine power if current power exceeds 25 recover 1.7 percent based on engine power of recharge per second two minutes recharge yeah um i'm not actually impressed by this i like the look of it don't get me wrong it's it's a really cool in um, fact we'll I'll tell you what, let's let's give it a go, shall we? You can see for yourself. It's a really cool effect. There we go. Look at that. Let's let's zoom out a little bit. And let's turn off the hood before it goes off. There we go. That was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. It it's it is a really, really cool um console. Uh but yeah, I it, it's it's I suppose I, 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 I could put it with um, some other uh, fire consoles to you know to give me some sort of fire build and uh, I'm sure the Vakiri ships would look really cool with that so that's something else I might look at in the future but yeah it's yeah the effect looks good whether I'll use it or not as a permanent feature I'm not so sure right so let's go back to the build shall we so if we look at the masteries uh, at tier 1 we get a plus 25 physical uh, tw plus 25 physical and kinetic damage resistance rating at tier 2 uh, we get a plus 15 percent critical severity that's cool at tier 3 we get a plus 25 energy damage and radiation damage resistance rating at tier 4 we get a plus 10 percent hull hit points increased maximum hull hit points there you go and at tier 5 the trait five magics 
Uh, when dealing damage with each... Uh, sorry, let's start again. When dealing damage with any of the five magics, cold... F uh, sorry, fire, cold, electrical, radiation, and psionic, apply the following for 15 seconds. A plus five current engine power per second and a plus 26.4 bonus damage to the five magics and disruptor plus 15 percent plus 0.15 percent per engine power for 15 seconds hmm. it's not exactly a lifetime is it that 15 seconds hmm. but anyhow it yeah, I, re I really shouldn't knock it. I mean, this is a free ship. Uh, and uh, given that it's free, um, everything that you do get on it is a bonus. So anyhow, uh, moving on to the statistics. So on this character, which is not one of my better characters, um, I've got the hull up to 121,366. The resists are quite impressive actually, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with them, they're in the mid 40s. Uh, we have an accuracy rating of 42.7 and a critical chance of 33% with a critical severity of 177.4. Uh, now looking at the stations, let's just go over these shall we. I know I've touched upon them when we went over the main points of this ship, but uh, let's just go over them again. We've got a Lieutenant Commander Universal Stroke Intel Station. And we get a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station. We get a left uh, sorry, we get a Commander Engineering Station. And we get a Lieutenant Science Stroke Pilot Station. And finally, we get an ensign sign station. And I know, I know this ship can you can equip uh, dual cannons on this ship. Now, because we don't have a commander uh, station, we're going to be struggling to get cannon scatter volley three. So, I basically think this ship more or less lends itself to a beam overload, um, which is how I'm how I'm going to uh, how I'm going to build it. Now, don't forget, if you upgrade this to a T6X, um, you will get uh, an extra uh, universal console and some extra device slots uh, on here, as, as well as an extra trait, um, trait space. Uh, now, you'll see this um, color in here on the top and, and all around here. This looks like an octopus, doesn't it? Um, what does that look like? I have no idea. Some sort of sea creatures on the side here. No, don't know what that is. It could could be some sort of sea creature. That looks like an octopus. And anyway, um, if you change the colour of this ship with the vanity shields, with vanity shields, uh, this 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 pipe in here that goes around that doesn't change. So you can change this colour. Tell me what we'll do. We'll see if I've got any vanity shields for this ship shall we I'm not sure whether I have um, let's have a look uh, visuals shields yes I've only got two uh, for this ship so um, yeah that one's not yeah don't like the look at that one straight away and the second one is the platinum vanity shield oh there we go that's so you can see what I mean there uh, actually I quite like that you know Platinum vanity shield on that. That looks. Oh, I think this ship just went to be my estimation then because of that. Yeah. I might be able to live with that colour actually. That is that is really cool, isn't it? Let's get rid of the hood. Oh yes, I think I shall leave the platinum vanity shield on. But uh, yeah, I think you get an idea of. Um, what you can do with this, um, but the, as I say, the the uh, whatever this is, the octopus type arrangement here, <laughs> that won't that won't change colour unfortunately. But uh, yeah, the ship has, and it. I tell you what, I'm rather impressed with that. That's um, yeah, really cool. Right, so um, we're not going to go to the bridge because you don't get the below decks bridge with this ship. It's just the standard one and um, given that 
there's nothing else we can actually do with it in the ship's tailor um, yeah I, I, I feel it's pointless going down to view that but what we'll do now is we'll take her into harm's way and you can actually see how she performs so here we are the Karaya system patrol enjoy Now, wasn't that a thoroughly good run? Um, yeah, uh, to be honest with you, my estimation of this ship has uh, gone up now after uh, after that little run. Um, yeah, I, I was quite shocked actually. It did it did better than what I expected on a, on, on quite a low ranking character. Um, yeah, I'm. I may even try and put this through on one of my higher characters uh, to see how, how it performs. But, um, yeah, um, I'll admit, this ship is fun. Um, and I may have been slightly wrong in my earlier um, comments. Uh, and I do like the vanity shield as well. I think the vanity shield does it for me as well, to be fair. Um, I didn't like the green one, but... Uh, well, the the uh, the other green the other green skin, this uh, this to me makes it look quite cool actually. Um, now, earlier I did a Japuri run with this ship, so let's have a look at the Japuri challenge which um, I undertook earlier on, shall we? And here we are. Now, as you can see, uh, the Hyperion um, Intel Battle Cruiser is in 15th place, and um, I'm quite shocked with that, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, because it, it was on a bit of a low-level build to begin with, but it's it's ranking ab above uh, the World Razor and the Kirk, and even the Praetor Command Warbird. So it's 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 mixing it up in there, and for a free ship, um, yeah, to be in the top fifteen, well, that's quite an achievement. And even I have to uh, admit that this ship has outperformed some lockbox ships, actually. So um, yeah, I'm 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 quite impressed with that. Um, now then, if we look at the eleventh place, you'll notice the La Serena Heavy Raider has moved up. Um, and that's because I did a like for like and changed to these new consoles. Now she didn't break any records, but she did actually move up uh, the list. 
Uh, now if we go to the lower part of that list and there we are the Lacerena Heavy Raider she was 26th uh, without those new consoles so the new consoles have um, drastically improved uh, the Lacerena build and I did a like for like so but the jury's still out there with those consoles and I am looking at bringing you my top 10 consoles but as yet I won't be um, including those new consoles yet because I've, I have had some mixed results using the uh, Star Trek Online parser and uh, I did put it out to some of my fleet uh, colleagues and they've told me that the parser is not that good to be honest with you so yes uh, some conflicting results there on the parser regarding the like for like with consoles and vulnerability locators well there you have it then um, yeah I, I, I started this review with a very low impression of this ship uh, a lot of it was due to how it was not very aesthetically pleasing um, but uh, as I've put her through her paces she is fun and um, yeah I, I've changed my mind somewhat um, yeah Still not happy with some of the designs on the ship but you know you can't have everything and it's a free ship so yeah um shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth right so on that note i'll leave you to the rest of your day and uh, yeah don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and drop us a like because that does wonders for the channel and uh, yes it always it also makes my day as well yes and speaking of days I'll uh, leave you to the rest of yours. So until next time, this is Jester signing off. I understand you're having difficulty with the warp drive. How much time do you require for repair? There's nothing wrong with the bloody thing. You know this ship like the back of my hand. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. The keyboard? How oh, great. How long would it really take? An hour. Oh, you didn't tell him how long it would really take, did you? Well, oh, Scotty, now you've done it. Aye, the haggis is in the fire for sure. Computer, shut this bloody thing off.